You know, maybe you should, uh, think? Oh, there's no challenge at all. I guess I'll go easy on them. <laughs> Not too shabby for an old man. We should really enjoy these little times together. Add your heavens! Add your heavens! Hey, see what I did there? Add your heaven! We show no mercy to enemies. We just rip them apart. Eliminate them! Add your heavens! Add your heavens! Not too shabby for an old man, right? I'm gonna go a little crazy here! That was a nice little break. Destroy them in no time! Add your heavens! Add your heavens! And hey, see what I did there? You know, maybe you should, uh, think. You know, maybe you should, uh, Hey, Patty, are you cooking again today? I could take care of it if you want. Nah, I like what I'm doing, so don't worry. I wonder if she has some ulterior motive. She's always seemed like the calculating type to me. Patty is a fine young woman. Well, she might be aiming to set her hook in Yuri at the very least. If you want to catch me with food, you'll have to at least give me a personalized menu. She doesn't give him any special treatment. Hmm. If you don't understand, then I'll tell you. The real power in any family lies in the kitchen. The real power? The person in charge of the food has the most sway over the household. Precisely. You all need to eat, so you can't ignore me. It is hard to talk back to the one who has all our food. So show me proper deference. I suppose I could try. Add your heavens! Add your heavens! It's not too shabby for an old man, right? Easy on you. As your heavens, take this. As your wolf. Yeah. 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 Come, oh, silver. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for angel ring. Next. Hey, come on. Yeah. I suppose I could try. As your <laughs> you know, maybe you should uh, think. Fight like I'm gonna die, huh? No! Hey, that didn't work! Add your heavens! Add your heavens! Add your heavens! Add your heavens! Add your heavens.
Jones. Not too shabby for an old man, right? Oh, there's no challenge at all. One shot should do. Moon Base! As your heavens! Your fist! Not too shabby for an old man, right?
figurine is lovely. Figurine? I'd say it's more like a toy, really. You must not have seen many things like this in the castle, Estelle. I'd like to see more of these figurines. And thus, a figurine collector is born. Oh, some people are just more interested in aesthetics than others, Yuri. It's not all that unusual. Yeah, I don't really have any interests outside of Blastia. I've always been a fan of cool guild emblems myself. What about you, Yuri? Huh? I've never really given much thought to artistic sorts of things. I never really looked at anything like art. Ask me! Ask me! Ask me what I like! Girls! Girls. Th th that's right. We know it's right.
Strength! 
Okay. work. Yeah. Get some rest. You did well. Who are you talking to, Carol? Ah! Ah! Don't startle me like that! I I'm sorry. Did you hear that just now? Yeah, we heard it. You talk to your sword? It cuts better when I do that. Actually, we just won this battle because I gave my sword lots of encouragement before. Really? Whatever floats your boat. Well, that was unexpected. What? Nothing. Thank you for all the work you do. We can't wait to see how well you perform next time. It must be tough having such an unreliable owner. You're the only one we can count on. Um, uh, good luck next time. Wow, thanks, guys! I'll bet my attack power will double in the next battle! Don't Ugh. get carried away! I guess I can fight. Curling havoc! As your heavens! As your heavens! Wolf strike! As your sword! Oh, disturbing power now! All right! They know each other way! around you're the one in control how can you not know what you'll do because 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 i'm never sure what i'll do and that's just fine you call that fine i don't see why it wouldn't be yeah it really is fine why am i even talking with you people you never make any sense you're completely right and that's just fine This looks like fun. As your door, as your heavens, as your heavens, as your heavens. This is beating up the earth. This is your heavens. My enemies, Rob Dasher. As your heavens. Man, I want some more. Keep your eyes on my sword. Destruction field! Add your heavens! Add your heavens! Come on, Add bring your heavens. it! Oh, beating up the earth! Sacrifice my body to crush your enemies! You're done! Oh, 
You poor thing. I guess I can fight. As your heavens! As your heavens! As your heavens! Hey, are we really going to take this with us? Of course! I mean, it's the job we were given. And you saw how much the client wanted this Everlight. Yeah, but why was that monster so interested in it? Baul should be able to outfly him, right, Judith? Of course. But that's not really the issue here, is it? No, I just wonder if it's really okay to carry off something that seems so important. Nobis trusted us to do this job for him. I want to take this back to him. I think it's the right thing to do. Well, if you put it like that... Maybe we should just ask the client what he'd like us to do. Yeah, let's do that. I never imagined you would deliver it to me directly. Thank you so very much. With this, we can finally revive our guild. Revive? Did something happen to your guild? No, it's, it's nothing. Here, take this as a show of my gratitude. Now that I've acquired it, I mustn't waste even a single moment. You think he'll be all right? Must really be in a hurry if he's heading out of town on his own. That voice. I... I don't believe it! Damn, he sure is persistent. Nobis is in trouble. Let's go! like the monster got away with the stone. Hey, are you okay? After all that searching, now I'll have to start over. This wound is terrible. Let's carry him to the inn. Well, he'll live, but he shouldn't be moved for quite some time. 
He's lucky you were here. What a stupid thing to do. I don't care what the reason. Anybody who steps outside a barrier alone is crazy. I figure this will make him give up on the Everlight. He's lucky to get off with his life. I guess we shouldn't have brought the Everlight to him after all. I should have listened to you, Yuri. Hey, it's his own fault for charging out like that. You got nothing to worry about, Carol. Yuri... But we should decide what our guild will do if something like this happens again. We do need to try and define Brave Vesperia's rules as we gain more experience. Yeah. Hey, don't get all down on yourself. We just started as a guild. Yeah, we'll only get better from here on.
Are you Mimula? That's right. And just who might you be? We're Brave Vesperia, the guild who took the job you posted with the Union. It's about time. I will, of course, dock your pay for all the waiting you've made me do. What? That's not fair! Is this indecent young lady part of your brave... whatever you call it as well? Do you have a problem with how I'm dressed? It's your reputation. Now, are you serious about taking the job? Well, what does it involve? I haven't seen my butler, Sebastian, since he left to negotiate with a certain guild. I'd like to get some word from him, but nobody seems willing to go for me. Have you considered going yourself? It would make a lovely day trip, I'm sure. <sighs> this is no time for jokes. I have no interest in going any place that vile. Which is where we come in, right? Naturally, the commoners must heed the words of the nobility. So what's a high and mighty noble like you doing in the lower quarter? Well, I... you see... Oh, how rude! Why should you care? And what guild are you talking about? They are called Leviathan's Claw. Leviathan's? You are to find out first if Sebastian is safe, and second, how the negotiations have gone. What was he supposed to negotiate? That is none of your concern. Yeah, it's not, but we don't need any extra hassle. So basically, you'd like us to bring this Sebastian back to you. That's right. If we're dealing with Leviathan's Claw, I guess we're off to the manner of the wicked. Just what kind of dangerous hobbies are you people into? Ugh, I thought I told you it was none of your business. You need only concern yourselves with the work I've hired you to do. Such emotion is unbecoming of your ladyship. I hear you, Repeat. Let's get going. Right. We accept this task in the name of the brightest star in the night sky, Brave Vesperia! What? Is that your little slogan? Please. We can't possibly understand the refined tastes of such an elegant lady, Carol. <laughs> oh, how dare you make fun of me! I won't stand for it. Oh. Oh, there's no challenge at all. Don't get careless. All my heart. Shining eagles, as your heavens. Not too shabby for an old man, right? Finish that. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up! You know, maybe you should, uh... That last battle went by in the blink of an eye. You guys are merciless. Hit before the enemy has a chance to. The only certain victory is a preemptive one. We can't show our enemies any mercy! Well, if we take it too easy, then we're just playing with them. Makes me feel sort of bad for him, you know? But still, I think a little bit of mercy would have been okay, just to be fair. You're probably the most cold-blooded, merciless killer of us all, Judith Darlin. Oh? You really think that? Looks like she doesn't even realize it. I think she's just pretending not to. I feel like an easy win! Let's just get it over with. You know, maybe you should, uh... Guess
Hold up, hold up. That looks pretty dang fun. Let the old man give it a go. I don't think anyone will want to try after watching you, old man. What are you saying? I still got the stuff. Hey-ya! 
Did that look fun to any of you?
I don't care what rock you crawled out from. Bring it. Take Magic this. heavens. Add your heavens. Oh, yeah. Add your heavens. Add your heavens. Add your heavens. Add your, Add your heavens. Add your heavens. Add your heavens. Add your heavens. Add your heavens.
So, did we do the right thing? Sure we did. Who knows what kind of mess they'd cause if we just left them alone. Gotta say, though, it goes against the Guild Code of Conduct to tell secrets you find out when you're on a job. Really? You gotta keep quiet about any dirt you find out during a job for your client. Wow, old man, that's actually... honorable. Guilds gotta turn a blind eye to stuff their clients do, no matter how bad. Besides, sticking your nose into the client's business isn't gonna earn you any extra dough. I guess you're right, but... Take the pay you got for this job, for example. I don't know about just doing the work, getting paid, and leaving it at that. Yeah, like last time. Right. We did exactly what the client asked, and look how badly that turned out. Which reminds me, have you figured out what this whole Brave Vesperia thing is for yet? Is it for the money, because you like it? What? We... Do justice, right? Yes, Brave Asperia does what its members feel is right. Even if that doesn't always make money like Raven was talking about. I, I mean, for now, we'll still do jobs that pay, of course. Huh, so that's what Brave Asperia does. Hmm, not sure how much that actually cleared up, but... You guys sure you're all right with that? Being in a guild isn't all fun and games, you know. We never expected it to be. And even if it was, that wouldn't change how we feel. Yeah, we'll do things our own way. Huh, listen to this kid. What? I think it sounds great. So that's where things stand, old man. <laughs> Knowing you kids, you'll probably find a way to pull it off. Of course! It's been a slow process, but Brave Vesperia has really come into its own as a guild. I think it's still nowhere close to a full-fledged guild. But everyone's trying their best! Well, I guess the guild does have a good style. A good style? We have the kid for comic relief, the Critian as the love interest, and Yuri as the straight man. 
Oh, I thought you were talking about how fashionable our clothes were. That'd make you the space cadet then. So you're the straight woman? I'm not a member of your crazy comedy act. We're a guild, you know.